Good evening, everyone. Hope everyone's having a really good weekend. This is Black Irish. Welcome back to... All right. Let's get to the first video. Let's get you guys entertained. Thank you for returning. But it's also frustrating for women like me, the millennials who are feeling all of this anger. They're like, you know, men have been complaining about things for 60 plus years and you you guys are now reacting because we're saying something. I'm not 60 years old, right? I'm just here like my mom, my grandmother, they might have done something, but it's not my fault. So I'm not going to really get on this woman. She's young. She's innocent. Or she's, uh, you'd have to assume she is. And I do agree. It's not her fault what happened before. But unfortunately, the ripple effects cannot be undone. As you said, happened six, it's been, the men have been complaining about this for 60 years. It's longer than I've been alive. It is painstaking it sucks that as a man who has been complaining about a group of women to be a certain way and to get pushback after decades of pushback after decades of pushback and then here we are nothing has changed so it is unfortunate for her that her opportunity to find a good man is going to be even harder because of the sins of our families, the sins of our past, the sins of our mothers, our aunts, our sisters' past. And so it's like, how can we work together to fix these things? But I think at this point, a lot of men are checking out. Mm-hmm. And I don't feel like it's my fault. Like, I, mm-hmm. I didn't have a role in that. So why am I the one that's being blamed for it? Unfortunately, that's just how life is. You're going to get blamed for something because, well, you're here. What did you do to prevent it? What did you do to break the cycle? You have, let's just use that as an example. There have been women who basically are having children with no neck dudes. They're, as they say, pookies and ray rays. Are we changing that? Have we broken the cycle? Have we realized that the same type of pookies and ray rays who are no good are not going to be there long term? And it's not that we don't see the other kind of women. I'm sorry. That we don't see the other type of men out there. My apologies. The ones that, will, that, would, that would be there. It's just that they, didn't, they were not on your radar. So you ignored them until it was convenient and you were no longer needed by the Pookies and Rayways or you came to, your, to, your, to the realization that, well, okay, they're not good. Let me find a good guy. And for many years, those men accepted that there was nothing else for us out there. But now they're checking out to other race of women. They're going to other countries. And it sucks for you because you may be a good woman. But we'll never know because I'm not taking that chance. It's been too many years and nothing's changed. That is a good question. I mean, the honest truth is she's right. It, he's right. It is, it, it is a very good question. The question is, how do you fix it? Men have been trying to fix it. The good men have been trying to fix it. The other ones... I've been trying to keep it down. The other ones who can get the top tier women, they don't care. But for everyone else, they've been trying. And then now they realize, okay, well, I'm not going to keep going at this because I'm going to give up. Why am I giving up? Because there's no, there's, I've been fighting for decades. I'm done. I'm tired. I want to find a more feminine woman. So I saw this thread with black women saying that they wanted to date outside of their race because they have not had a good experience with black men. Although I see where you ladies are coming from, let me just give my experience dating outside of my race. I dated one Mexican and one Indian man. So first things first, men are going to be men in every single race. It doesn't matter where you go. Men are men regardless. Yeah, and that same thing goes for guys who date outside their race. There's no guarantee that the woman is not going to be a woman. If you are a mark, as they say, and you go out there leading with your wallet, a woman is just going to be a woman who leads with, her, with how she treats men 
coolly with their wallet. She's going to use you for what you're worth and not take you seriously. I 100% agree. Number two, these men are very intentional with their dating. When they say they're looking for a wife, they are looking for a wife. And once they find that, they're not going to waste any time locking you down. If you are what they're looking for, they move fairly quickly and they view marriage as a duty, right? Lastly, black women, if you want to date outside of your race, you need to be disciplined. When they say we're going to the gym at 530 in the morning, you better be up at five o'clock getting ready. They are not going to deal with the lack of discipline and what we make black men put up with. They are not going to go for that. And that's a fact. Say whatever you want. Unfortunately, I hate to admit it. Men have... In the men in the in this community, unfortunately, have very poor taste, and they, not the taste; it's their standards. You'll see other race of men that will usually shoot for the best and brightest. Black men have actually just grown into just accepting whatever. That's why you see so many three hundred pound whales that walk around, and they feel like now they feel like they're ten. They're starting to get more demanding about what they want. They're not willing to lose the weight or get in shape. I was young once. I used to be a chubby chaser. Then I grew up and I realized, why am I doing this? I'm in shape. Why am I going out with a whale? And I would ask her, well, let's go to the gym. And she'd get, it was like so much pushback. It was at that point I realized, no, nah, I need to change my life. Nope, I can't do this. I cannot be seen in public like this. I don't care what anybody says. I can't be seen in public with you. If you want to find another fat person or a chubby chaser admirer, fine. But I can't do it. I just cannot do it. Black men need to start having standards. Back, what black men need to do is start doing this: building yourself up, building yourself an empire, make more money, get your education, get your strength going, get a better body, get your better personality, become more confident, and shoot for the better women. And if you can't find the better women here, go someplace else. But this whole cleanup man thing should not be a thing that most black men are notorious for being a part of. I think we got one more video. Let's see what we got. Why you think they so mad at the passport bros? <laughs> Dudes that they didn't want anyway. You know why they're mad? I'll, just, I'll um, finish, but I want to give a shout out to Angry Man. He's got some great content. I'm going to put the link in the description box. Because they are terrified that those dudes is going to fly to another country. They're going to see how those women act. They're going to see how those women treat the men. Mm -hmm. They're going to experience how those women treat them. And then they're going to come back and tell us. And then we're going to look at them and say, wait a minute. We don't have to put up with this? Like I said, shout out to Anger Man. He's 100% correct. You see, that's been the biggest fear since day one. They, they started off with white women, and then it became this. The passport bros scares the crap out of them. They don't like the fact that there are other options for these men. They want to keep them to themselves as backup plans. That's the problem. They cannot handle the fact that black men can stand up think for themselves they want a man that can build but the moment that man stands up and st wants to do something you want to tear him down and uplift of every other man um no nah. nope this is why men are standing up against it they're tired of it anyway that's it for today have a good night like share subscribe and as always a man cave is always open